We're getting some breaking details now in on the deaths of the two Brevard County newborns. Their mother now facing two felony murder charges. Tonight, police are giving us some really disturbing details on why. Some of these are really tough to hear. News 6's Troy Campbell joins us live outside Brevard County Jail tonight where this woman is being held. So, Troy, what can you tell us? Well, Matt, it's because of those graphic details is why the mother is now being held here at the Brevard County Jail without bond. Investigators are now saying that the medical examiner's office determined what actually happened is not what the woman told detectives. 30 year old Rachel Thomas charged with five felony counts in the deaths of a newborn boy and girl Sunday afternoon. West Melbourne police saying Thomas originally said she didn't know she was pregnant when she gave birth to a baby boy inside this house, saying he was unresponsive. The newborn pronounced dead at Holmes Regional Medical Center. Detectives then immediately went back to the house and found a newborn girl dead in a trash can after Thomas failed to mention a second child. Investigators saying preliminary results from the twins' autopsy show the newborns were carried full term and were born healthy. West Melbourne police now claim they died after Thomas intentionally harmed them and attempted to discard any evidence the two had ever been born. The Florida Department of Children and Family telling News 6 Prior to this, their agency has never received a complaint about Thomas, who already had a one-year-old and an eight-year-old child. And Thomas is expected to go before a judge tomorrow afternoon on several charges of murder and also child abuse. We're also told that her other two children are staying with family. Matt Lisa? Just awful. Troy Campbell, thanks.